MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or, maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> I mean, it's still the same thing. <laughs> it's still the same thing. Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is no so... I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um, well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. <laughs> or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a... There's Peter Riz. Cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery. Above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with the Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Marcus. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help. But you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass. I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Suffer. Oh, spider sense is going off. Uh oh. Martin Lee? Oh, hell no! Oh! Jefferson! Dang! Oh my, oh my. Bro, where's Spider-Man when you need him? Especially at a time like this. Miles, are you okay? Where is he? Are we playing Miles right now? Miles! Miles! 
Yeah, we are. We are. Peter. He's knocked out. No. <laughs> no, worst time to get knocked out. Ain't no way. Peter, Miles. get up, bro. Last episode, you got hit with a whole thing, me, bro. Get up, Peter. Oh my gosh, dude, we're playing as Miles. They debuffed Peter. <laughs> Mom! And I don't know if my boy Jeff is okay. Peter, get up, bro. Something like this is not supposed to knock you out. You know what? It's fine. This is crazy. Over there. Go this way. Okay. Under there. Whoa! Mom! Oh, square! Oh, God! Damn it! How in the world is supposed to lift that? It was right there. Whoa, they pull it up like this? Where do you think you're going? Oh my goodness. Yeah, through there, Miles. All right, all right, I know, I know, I know. These innocent people. What? Bro, Martin Lee, the next time I see you, bro, we're running the set. Jesus, man. Like, we just killing people for no reason, dude. What, just to set an example for Osborne? 
That they mean business, is that why? That was right there. Gotta help him. Now. No. no! Enough! We have to leave. Now! I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or... It all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Okay. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on the hunt from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. I'm thinking I screwed up, and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on me? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. That's 
up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Huh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Today is a day for somber reflection. A morning, and honoring fallen heroes like Jefferson. But it's also a day to vow never again. It stops here. Some people say I blame everything on Spider-Man. Well, I don't blame him for the bomb. That cowardly act is squarely the responsibility of whoever committed it. If we're gonna keep New York safe, no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider-Man and his ilk represent. This is our city. By God, we're going to take it back. Finally, he said something good. Sort of. <laughs> Jace Hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay. Take this. Oh, I was about to finish in you. Okay, that's all of them. Security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. One, two. Uh huh. That's it. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. Crazy. On oh, here, guns from Fisk's armory. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. Oh. 
Fury, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. Okay. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. Sweet dreams. Jeez. All right, how to deal with these guys? Don't. Mmm. 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 He's not out here. Better check inside. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. Wood. Oh no. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. Stay down. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. So I had Tom. Hey, MJ. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Thanks. Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. <laughs> This guy. No, I gotta reach sure he's done. Okay. Good. Nice. Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. There's another one. Unknown. Who are these guys? Safety's off. Well, this is new. Who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. 
Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Oh, who is she? Nice entrance. Solid eight out of ten. I agree. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Okay. Hey, sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. <laughs> anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Just another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple crossed, Doc. Alright, dog. Sable units requesting status update for Little Tokyo. Outpost is under siege by demons. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know, I want to. <laughs> I should check out Lee's office. More dialogue. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. All right, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, fair is fair. Glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. Who are you? Said you were at the bomb. I was praying. Thanks. I appreciate it. These people don't even have this names. This office is locked. Going. How do I get in there? Quietly. Uh, 
Well, nobody has cameras. This place huh. surely wouldn't have cameras. Never seen right? that room before. Uh, okay. Whoa! What the? High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. Oh, what was that? Aw, oh, May. May. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Oh. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? A letter. Looks like this note is for May. Uh. He really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. Let's hope, let's hope, because it's not looking good right now. What's Lee's this? journal. Wilson has been arrested. I can barely believe it. I planned and dreamed of this finding that this here. fits the lock in the portrait. Things will happen so quickly if I give the word. The demon is hungry. Hmm. Interesting. Lee did so much for New York. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. It was like he had two plans. One for if Fisk didn't get arrested. He would like start the life that he has started currently. But then the fact that Fist has been arrested means that he can now like do his dream now. He had two lives planned, the good side and and this the bad the side. Ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Uh, the quote, remember the old man, only balance can master the demon's strength. Without balance, the monster will turn on any who attempt to control it. Okay, Martin Lee, you know what? Okay, stop story and everything, but remember. Hmm. You took Some my boy, Jeff. Puzzle lock. Oh, what is this? What are you hiding, Lee? The secret room. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? A compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? He needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? He pretended to be a demon until he became one. I 
that's one way to say it. Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. To become, become one. one. <laughs> oh, bro. You're, you're a cliche trope. Phew. What? It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. The police had found this. Or May. I want to think of what could have happened. I didn't this is all about out. Norman Osborn. His whole career. Okay, through the floor grate. Osborn's welcome son. One's military contract. Osborn says your family is safe. Norman Osborn. Oh, it is. Now, how do I get out of here? Whoa, Martin? Martin. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Mm. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Oh. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne uh. rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they plan next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Oh. Well, well mm. I should go. When will you be back? When yeah, my when? Work is done. Okay, Martin. Okay. Just remember when I said, We're gonna run this set! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! wait. gone. 